the philosophical answer is I'm still learning. You know, I don't think I've got the complete answer to that question. Uh, I have found out that, that it's extremely hard work to do. Any creative, you have to believe that your ideas have merit, you know, that they're worth, uh, um, uh, uh, they're worth working on, that they're worth developing and they're worth sharing. Um, so, but when you're young, you tend to, I think, at least I did maybe, um, uh, you know, uh, believe that, uh, that maybe I know more than I do. We always used to think that ad agency guys all sat around and just worried about TV and then when you're around a lot of them you realize TV is probably 10% of what they do. And so I kind of now are a little more aware of what's going through uh, people that, that work in that business. I really have learned that there's a difference between my personal agenda or the agenda of my office, of my colleagues and the client and how important it is to keep those separate. In other words, there are things that I care about. There are tastes, inclination, interests, uh, curiosities. That's my business, and I care about that. That's important, but it's separate from what the client cares about. And it's very important to know what's their agenda, what's on their minds. There's just been a change. And the internet, of course, um, while it still has a ways to go, that has been made a huge impact um, on our industry and the choices. Um, who, who now goes to newspapers to, you know, look up information? They go to the internet. Who goes to the yellow pages to look up a phone number? If you want directions, you use your mobile phone. When it comes to communicating, it's not just about, it's not about the medium. Digital strategy isn't really about what kind of website you can have or what kind of online banner ad you can have. It's still about the communicating. And oftentimes people get, afraid of, that's where I was going with it, they get afraid of the medium um, and they get too worried about well, how does the website work or, or how does this social media stuff work and they forget about the communicating and I always got to bring them back around to what is it we want to communicate, not how we want to communicate or what tool we want to use to communicate with. In communications, the field of communications, uh, I find that maybe one of the most difficult things is to uh, communicate well with each other on a project. The irony of that, right, that public relations and creative and, and a producer like me, um, oftentimes the communications within us uh, is lacking. It's just extremely hard work and uh, if you don't have a passion for it, I think it, it's, it's, a, it's work that just will never come to fruition if you don't believe in what it is you're, you're doing. Early in, in my process, um, my part was to help educate clients uh, as to what communications can do for them, why they should do it, and, uh, and that, that process has changed over the years, um, both in the type of work that we do and in my own personal perspective. Um, I've, uh, I've kind of resolved myself uh, that I'm, I'm done being John the Baptist, right? No more conversions. You either believe in communications and what it's going to do for you, or you don't. What I've learned on the process side is that I really enjoy being a part of the process and not a lot of people like doing that. It has to seamlessly work across the various components that you just called out. It can't function in its own silo. It can't stand out in and amongst itself. It has to work synergistically with the other parts of the communication plan to really get the, the maximum effect out of it. When I was younger, my role was more defined. It may have focused on one area of this communications process, uh, or it focused just on the communications. And today, I think as you, as, uh, a couple things happen. One is you gain a lot of experience and you become uh, someone who's trusted by your client to do more than just the communications. I think you take on uh, a, a much, much larger role. You know, I'll, I'll very, very often with clients that I work on, I work on uh, everything but the communications. I'll work on brand strategy, I'll work on product development, pricing, uh, uh, etc. So it really does encompass uh, a lot more than just the communications in today's advertising world. So I think you need to take a leadership position in the dialogue and a leadership position in developing the strategy and making recommendations because to be effective and to be a valued partner it's really a position you need to put yourself in. I think the the timeliness of the communications and in getting back and responding to people I'm trying to do business with or, or um, from the production houses, communicating uh, to them quickly what we need as far as uh, material-wise and getting, keeping things moving forward and ahead as smoothly as possible. I find the, 
the best thing is an open communication. And it, it's got to be um, you know, back and forth, responsive. I think my part, uh, and this is going to be a little cliche-ish, my part is assembling the absolute best team of people to help our advertisers do the job of communicating. I mean, everyone really does need to think on their feet and, and be fairly good at everything, you know, and like, and not just fairly good, but like really good. That it's diminished. Um, every kid has a camera. Oh, we'll get, you know, we don't need stills, we're just, somebody will shoot it. Off the, they'll bring their phone up. So my part's diminished because it doesn't seem to be that important anymore. It's that caveman thing. Anybody can do it. So it's been reduced, um, minimalized. And it's very depressing. I've learned that the, it's, it's, you have to work with other egos, as you should, and people should take pride in what they do. And that's a tough thing. And it's really uh, something that, that's a skill in and of itself to be able to work with other people. My job today is really to help clients um, who are prepared to invest in communications, who want to communicate um, uh, with their customer base, is to help them to figure out that what to say and how to say it first, and then to look at the channel or the technology second. I've learned to be flexible and to um, embrace change and to understand that I'm a lifelong learner in that scenario. That, you know, you have to constantly be looking for how you integrate the next piece of technology into the whole mix. And it's a challenge. It's, it's a significant challenge, I think, for everybody. But that's been my biggest, you know, challenge and kind of lesson. When you present to a client, tell them why they should like it, but why they should like it. It doesn't matter if I like it. In fact, it's presumed that I like it. And it doesn't matter. It's sort of like when you're in a restaurant and the, some kid who's the waiter says, I like the salmon. Well, what do I care if he, <laughs> if he likes the salmon, you know? If everybody's buying the salmon, if, they can't, if they're selling out the salmon every night, it's that good, that's different. So when I present to a client, something I've really learned is talk about what they care about. Because what I care about, yeah, that's nice, but irrelevant. In terms of music, uh, music is really hard. It is an old man's game. Um, it is something that is really, really difficult to do effectively, consistently. We've also found that our approach is a little better when we're dealing with clients that are a little bit older. And I say that because um, we can show like 12 different ways of doing something. A lot of people you know, like, oh my God, he's just figured out a way of having some crazy effect or whatever. And we can usually show three or four things. And usually you'll find an older person, especially in today's economy, that works at an ad agency or works as a, as a uh, client, they'll want to sort of hire someone that's kind of been around the block a few times and someone who is uh, rather than the, the latest, greatest that happened upon the scene. If I do my job right, you know, I'm doing, I'm creating a, a an antibiotic, if you will, that it's full spectrum. It's a full spectrum antibiotic that would be delivered in a lot of different ways. You know, you're gonna, it's an injectable, it's, you know, it's, it's a tablet, a pill, uh, uh, hopefully it'll last a long time as well.